Hello and welcome to the Tech Unplugged videocast. I'm Max Mortilaro, live from Cisco Live Europe 2020 in Barcelona. I'm here with Aniket from Cisco Data Center Division, and we're going to talk about Hyperflex. So hello, Aniket. Can you introduce yourself, please? Hi, Max. Uh, I'm Aniket Patankar. I'm a product manager with Cisco's Hyperflex business group. And then I'm responsible for Hyperflex product line and some of the areas involving cloud native initiatives, our multi-hypervisor work streams, and integration with public cloud providers. Very good. So uh, Aniket, uh, for me, it's my fifth Cisco Live. Excellent. And uh, I've been covering uh, Hyperflex pretty much from the uh, very early days. And I've seen Hyperflex go from, uh, let's say, an, uh, a kind of a challenger in the uh, hyperconverged world uh, into a solution which has been consistently improving over each release. And last year, actually, uh, uh, even I, I've been writing a lot about Hyperflex, and I've been having sometimes uh, not that I've been mean, but uh, I've had you know opinions. And last year, I really realized that we've come to a point of maturity for Hyperflex with a lot of. Uh, uh, a, a lot more integration and uh, capabilities and so on. So uh, can you tell us a bit more about, uh, you know, the, the journey of Hyperflex and what are you doing now? We'll talk a bit later then about what's coming, what has been announced. So if you can just uh, tell us absolutely, a bit. Absolutely, absolutely happy to. It's been an incredible journey. As you rightly pointed out that last year, there were a couple of key sort of accomplishments that uh, we could achieve. One is... Uh, in second year in a row consecutively, Hyperflex was marked as in Gartner's magic quadrants, leader quadrant. So we've been consistently recognized as leaders in a hyperconverged infrastructure space. Uh, a cherry on top of the cake was uh, we were awarded as CRN's best HCI product in the industry just as we were ending the year. So all of that is good. And truly, as you mentioned, the product had come a long way. Uh, it's been shipping for more than well, three and a half years now. And a large part of this uh, adoption, the technical leadership, can be attributed to the design choices that we made very early in the, in the life cycle. And the approach around just simplicity, integrating with the rest of the Cisco's portfolio and ecosystem, that's been, that's been helping our customers quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So talking, talking about that, about the architectural choices, the decisions which were made, uh, Hyperflex is uh, somehow in a position in the market where you have uh, this tight integration with Cisco because it's now a Cisco product. Um, you have other uh, HCI uh, competitors in the market, two big ones. I think we don't need to name them. And uh, that, that poses the question, since HCI is becoming kind of the default uh, infrastructure consumption model these days, it poses the question about why customers should consider Hyperflex. What is the differentiator compared to the two major ones which are on the market? Absolutely. And I'm going to quote customers because there is definitely a version of a product team. But what our consistent have been continuously validating and uh, giving a feedback to us is if I had to pick three things over many other things, it comes down to the file system architecture that we have. It is based on log structured file system. It has been designed and developed grounds up with a specific focus on always on distributed file system, right? So the distributed nature of file system is very important as you are trying to adopt and support new workloads, including mission critical application. The mm -hmm. second one is with distributed file system, the onus is equally on networking because in the HCI or hyperconverged architecture, it's a very east-west heavy, uh, east-west networking heavy architecture. And having Cisco integrating Cisco's networking powers and offering it as an out-of-box, fully integrated solution with Cisco's networking that gives you a programmable networking segmentation, mm -hmm. that gives you predictable performance, that gives you deterministic networking policies around mm -hmm. quality of service, that's been that's that's been a game changer uh, mm -hmm. uh, in in many ways. Uh, so that is the second thing, and third thing is really around management, and a lot of focus. Uh, and you can almost derive this coming from UCS data center team, where we always took pride at the way we manage infrastructure. 
and with uh, the way we manage things around infrastructure. So with Cisco InterSight SaaS based uh, delivery model, you can get a full stack management, including Hyperflex, including networking, fabric, and application now. Uh, so management, SaaS management, networking, and distributed file system would be the three key things I would call on. Absolutely, that that makes uh, that makes a lot of sense, and I think that uh, InterSight has been probably one of the most exciting things we've been seeing, especially with the latest, uh, let's say, latest capabilities which were added to the product. We covered that yesterday with Ariane in a in a tech and plug video, so I encourage you also to to watch that when you have a chance.